Welcome to Learn Yourself. Write this sum, page number 78. The question is the value of the expression 10y minus 20 depends on the value of y. Verify this by giving five different values of y and finding for each y the value of 10y minus 20. So here first, this is the first question and this we will treat it as a second question. So in first we have to find out the values for the y from this equation 10y minus 20. So from this equation that is 10y minus 20 we have to suggest five different values and we will see that what value we will get it for this expression. So if we are taking y equals to 1 first then we have to substitute the y equals to 1 in this expression. So 10 with multiplication 1 minus 20. So we will get here 10 minus 20 and we will get here minus 10. So y equals to 1 we got the value that is minus 10. This is our first case. Then we are taking y equals to 2. So in this expression again we are substituting values of y. So we will get here 10 into 2 that is 20 minus 20. So we will get 0. So when we are eating y equals to 2, we will get 0. Next case we are taking y equals to 3. So we will get 10 into 3 minus 20. We will get 30 minus 20 equals to 10. And that is positive 20. Again for y equals to 4. We are taking so we will get 10 into 4 minus 20. We will get 40 minus 20 and the answer is 20. And the last y equals to 5 when we will take we will get 10 into 5 minus 20. And as an answer we will get 50 minus 20 so answer is going to be 30. So here we have taken 5 different values of y. 1. 2, 3, 4 and 5 and for each of these different values we, we got different answers. So for each different value the value of the expression will differ. Now comes second question. From this different values of 10y minus 20 you obtain do you see a solution that will give us 10y minus 20 equals to 50? Did we get this? No. We took till y equals to 5 and we did not get the answer 50. We got till 30. So if we will take further two more values of y, we may get the answer 50. If there is no solution, try giving more values to y and find out whether the condition this is met or not. So let us take y equals to 6. For the second question, in this expression when we will take 10 into 6 minus 20, we will get here 60 minus 20. So as an answer we will get 40. Let us take y equals to 7. So 10 into 7 minus 20, we will get 70 minus 20 and as an answer we will get 50. So here when we are taking y equals to 7, this expression will give us answer 10y minus 20 will give us 50. For y equals to 7, this expression will give us solution of 50. So how we get to know that whether this expression will give us this answer or not? Then there is one first method is to separate the variable and find out the answer for the y and second you have taken here y equals to 5 and we got the answer 30. As you can see that it is increasing by 10. So you keep on taking the y's value like y equals to 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So you can guess the value that at y equals to 7 we will get answer 50. That is the another method. So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.